Hello, and welcome to another broadcast with Gion. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gion. I know that you don't like when things go wrong. Nobody likes that. But what is what we need to do in those times is to think about those particular things that are not going wrong and analyze if they are really priorities, if they are really important things, relevant things, or maybe we are just not getting things that are not necessarily priority or important in life. You know, it is almost an impossibility that everything is going to go wrong in your life. People say that way, you know, everything is going wrong, everything is wrong, but not everything. Many things indeed can go wrong, but not everything. And the truth is, the good Lord in heaven has a plan for your life. And what you can see is that those particular things that are not going well, maybe is the way that he is trying to get your attention. Have you thought about that? That maybe these things that you are experiencing are just a call from heaven to tell you, hello, I'm here. Because the Lord God loves you. And in fact, you know, there are many people that care for you. People that love you, people that want the best for you and your life, perhaps what you need is to just to stop and analyze all those things. And, you know, sometimes you just need to let go to certain things and say, well, I'm not going to keep doing this. Obviously, it's not, it's not working. So nothing wrong with that. You can stop certain things that are not going well. But on the other hand, it's possible that some things that are not going well Maybe what you need to change is the angle, the approach to the problem. When you start talking with friends and mentors, if you have some people with more knowledge and experience than you, maybe they will give you light. You know, light is what changes everything. When you are in the darkness, when you are immersed in the problem, you can't see the solution, but it's very different when you have someone coming from the outside and says to you, you know, I have thought about this. Maybe you should do this, you should do that. You know, Fred, sometimes when things go wrong, probably are just an opportunity to see things from a different perspective. And who knows, maybe as a result of this, something great is gonna happen in your life. Try that, talk to somebody, Analyze together what is the situation, and perhaps a great miracle is going to come to you. Baby, let's see if you can do this. Yes, search app, G on TV. You got this, honey? It's on, that's right. Man, you're a genius. Old people get so happy with something so simple. By Giancarlo Vichitoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy, until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge, the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video.
Hey, 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 hey. That's all. That's all. That's all, folks. <laughs> Time to go home. <laughs> Ciao.